just inches from oncoming vehicles. Some say it's an accident just waiting to happen. You know, at least 73,000 jobs are within a 20 minute walk or bike of these existing bridges. Um, we've had in the past five years, a hundred incidents involving people on bike or on foot. Katie Zimmerman is the executive director of Charleston Moves, an organization that believes that building a new walking and biking bridge over the Ashley River could solve a number of problems. This is not only a project that will affect people's lives as far as safety, um, it'll also improve quality of life and offer more transportation choice, which is particularly important for people who may not afford to have a car. The city has applied for a federal grant to cover most of the cost of the bridge, but has been denied twice. This year, they're hoping that the third time's a charm, but they can't do it alone. The reason why the community support is so important, we need our congressmen to support this application. Part of the application includes support letters from community organizations. This year, they have had more letter submissions than ever, but they still need more. They must be from an organization, businesses, neighborhood associations, churches, or even clubs, just not individuals. This is our chance to do it, so hopefully they'll see the widespread support that we've got from the community and, and really jump in there and help us out. They are taking support letters until July 4th before the application's due date on the 15th, and the city should hear back by the fall of 2019.